Hey guys, it's Jason at Mustang Rehab. Uh, back in the shop today on the 66 Bronco project. Uh, we're going to start uh, finishing up a lot of the little stuff I left from up top I didn't weld underneath. I'm going to spend today trying to get all that stuff welded up. The floor pans that I didn't weld and um, just little spots like around the apron, the inner, uh, the apron to the wheel tubs up front. I didn't get that finished because I said I wanted to do it on the lift. It just makes it easier. And um, it picks a few, uh, we'll call them dang it spots for, to keep the keep my language good because my, my girls watch this show. So, uh, Anyways, uh, a dang it spot is a place that you just walk by and you think nobody's ever going to see it. Every time I walk by it I go, dang it. So fix your dang it spots. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do. I'll show you a few of those I've got. Uh, just some stuff that I, I can't just let go so we'll make them pretty and uh, and just remember you're, you're gonna think one day it's good enough and then you'll walk back out here when after you've slept a little bit and your patience is back you're gonna look at it and go dang it I should have fixed it so anyways we'll get to those uh, some of them anyways and uh, keep on moving oh and I ordered a roll cage uh, so it'll be here uh, in a few weeks, I don't know exactly how long. She said it'd be the middle of the month, uh, middle of July, so that sort of stinks, but we'll find some other stuff to do until then. But uh, I'll keep you guys in suspense a little bit and show, show you the one I'm, we're gonna use a little bit later. So uh, we'll uh, get started here. Okay, here's a few things that we're gonna weld today. This is my uh, firewall to floor pan. And again, you, you guys don't give me a hard time. This is just, you know, this looks really bad, but it's not. It's, it's just, and it needs to be cleaned up. We'll sandblast it and paint it. It'd be pretty, you know, all that steel is actually pretty, pretty solid. Nothing else on the Bronco was, but it's just some surfaced, uh, surface rust on it. But anyways, the, um, I need to get it all welded out. It's welded from the top side. I just don't have all my uh, spot welds to the tub to the uh, firewall there and uh, we talked about the dang it spots earlier and and it's you know the spots like this that the uh, the floor pan was had was rotted or had a hole and I just kind of squared it out so what I'll do is I'm gonna make a patch that mimics what it should look like and what it should have been here We'll sand it back smooth so it looks like it was sort of seamless. And I've already done one little a patch here. It hasn't been ground or anything, but uh, but again, you know, once it's done, it'll it'll be just like this piece. It's just a, one continuous piece, and it'll it'll look nice. And uh, same thing in this corner. You can tell where I've welded it up top, but I'm going to add this piece and wrap it around like it, you know, just. To give it a finished look but uh try to show you some before and after pictures of that today and a little bit of work as we go i'll run some screws into this sort of help pull it down good and tight uh only problem with that is it makes you have to well weld it down here then i have to weld it back on top again and fill in the screw holes but, but that's no big deal that's uh the price we pay to do some of this stuff because uh this, this uh, assembly fit really good. The only thing is right in here, it, it, it does have a about an eighth of an inch gap. So some of it was not just perfect. So we, we'll have to kind of pull that down and hammer it a little bit, but we'll make it nice. Also the aprons where I told you, I just didn't want to weld underneath the other day. I was getting it all over me. You can see all the spot welds now. See, I can reach right in here and weld all those spot welds up and I don't have to eat metal as I'm as I'm welding and then I'll flip it over and we'll do the same thing on this side
You can see the smoke coming out of my shoe. That was my toe. Everybody wants to be a welder. Until it comes to doing welding stuff. How I start repairing a, uh, a spot like this is I just get a piece of cardboard and I'll start making myself a template and just kind of get it close with a piece of cardboard then I'll put it on my scrap steel that I have laying around. Uh, what I'm using is that kick panel that was shipped to me that got damaged. I remember y'all mention me mentioning that earlier. Uh, Dennis Carpenter just told me to keep it. They'd send me another one, so I'm just going to use the panel itself as scrap. I just keep cutting parts off of it. It's good 18 gauge material. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get my cardboard and start making me a template and we'll get that cut out and weld it in place. So as you can see, I've already sort of got me a straight line there. So sort of I'll follow that seam. That line will be the bend. So let me go ahead and cut that. So I'm doing is just getting a guesstimate of where that's going to go. It's going to come back this way. So. I'm just going to cut that off at sort of rough and I'll massage it. All right. So you can sort of see how this is starting to come together. I know this is kind of boring to watch, but I just wanted to show you guys my the method of my madness. And that'll be it. You see, that's a It'll be a pretty close fit, and then we'll just massage it from there. And template. Okay, so before I get started, there's my you know metal piece there. I just need to kind of mark my bend right in there, so. Let's go see what that looks like. Alright, so I've got a little bend in it. As you can see, it's not perfect yet, but we're getting there. Now I need to bend it right across here. I need to knock a little off this corner, flatten this out a little bit, take a little off this edge here. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is it's really close. I'm going to put a screw in it here so I can start working it with a hammer a little bit and try to get it closer because it's kind of just hard just to manipulate it with a vise and the hammer but as you can see it's really close we can get that and I can tap it in and then get it welded out okay now I've got the screw in there I can that'll sort of help hold it a little stiffer Alright, so that is the fit corner. I need to take just a little bit up off the top where it's shifted up. Where it's shifted up here. I grind that off. And then we can weld these seams out, grind it smooth, and it should look fine. Okay, I'm going to weld this thing in and then we'll grind it and make it pretty. All right, so here is the the corner that we repaired, as you remember what it looked like before. Now we got steel up there. We can get it primed, just sort of dressing some of that old paint off. And right now I'm gonna do this next corner the same way. I built me a, uh, I cut me a piece of cardboard, mashed it up. So we're going to get that one welded in and this should take care of this portion of the tub. It gets seam sealer 
all the way down this edge and down these others. But, uh, but it's welded in. It's going to look nice. It's going to be straight. It won't look all, won't look all hacked up. And and yes, I can a little. You see a little indentation here. I'm sorry about the camera. A little indentation here. And what I'll do is I'll um, when I have it upside down, I'll, I'll wipe that a little bit. Just put a little filler on it. Make it pretty. It's a. Uh, this right here is, you know, nobody's, not many people are going to see it, but I will, but I, I, I'll make it pretty and it'll look nice. So, anyways, uh, this is another part down. So let's get this last part and we'll be done. That, that one's easy enough. I can, I can just get my, put my gloves on and I'm just going to tack weld this one in place. I'll knock it down then I'll weld it out. And we'll be in good shape. This is, this pan is fully seam welded on the top side. So anything I do down here is is only for looks really. This is it's not adding any real structural integrity. I just want it to look nice. You know, somebody rolls up underneath here, I want it to look as good as all this other new stuff. And that's the reason for doing it. <clears throat> Okay guys, here it is. I know this video is going to get a little long, so I'm just going to stop this one here. But there's the corners. Uh, if you remember back what they looked like when we started the video, you know, up here it was, it was just missing. You know, it was, it had some, some rod in there and I had to cut it out when I put the new pan in, this corner was missing. So we just rebuilt the corner actually both of them this one here kind of a weird glare coming off all that grinding but anyways but you can see it's nice and smooth get that primed in i'm just going to shoot some rattle can on it right now and uh then i'll come back when i when i blast the whole firewall in here i'll blast all that off and we'll put some good metal lock on it and uh Get some seam sealer in it and start making it look real pretty, but this is where I need to be right now. All right, guys, I just wanted to show you this real quick. This, uh, just, just with the rattle can primer on it, you can see how it turned out a little bit easier. So everything else was kind of exaggerated and kind of crazy, but this just sort of shows you what I ended up with. So it's going to look nice. Okay, sorry, uh, <laughs> not to bore you, just just more detail. Anyway. Well, guys, I hope this has helped you. Uh, will help you see how how I do some of my my dang it spots. And uh, uh, this is just two of them. This is just another part done. We can move up the top side, do a little bit more welding, some more grinding, more grinding down around the aprons and the wheel tubs. Uh, just where I welded those together. Lots going on, and. Uh, I got dirt all over me, I'm sorry. Anyways, it's been hot in the shop today and uh, getting some work done, it's good. And we'll be back on it uh, maybe tomorrow. So, you guys have a great weekend and uh, appreciate you watching, subscribing. Thumbs up and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Y'all take care.